Welcome to the Atlanta Boys headquarters, and we're very happy to have some special guests here today and some friend colleagues in the publishing business. We want to thank uh, everyone for coming out on this very cool and wet day, but uh, we're going to have a special time right quick, and we'll have a special honor guest, and each of one of the publishers who are here are going to come up in the Atlanta area and say a few words. We also uh, want to express the regrets of the NNPA Foundation Chair, Mary Denson, who sent her wishes and congratulations and she wishes she could be here. The first publisher we'll hear from today is going to be Mr. John Smith, who's going of the Atlanta Enquirer, who's going to give us a brief overview of the NNP Foundation. First of all, I'd like to commend this young man here as a former educator in Atlanta Public School on your heroic efforts that you did, and more especially for being a true child of God and to you for all that you have contributed and seeing that he continued in the footsteps of our Lord in Jesus Christ. On behalf of Clovis Campbell Jr., Chairman of the National Newspaper Publishers Association, and Mary Disson, who is the chairperson of the National Newspaper Public Association Foundation. Send their regrets for not being here today in order that they could meet this extinguished group for whom we have chosen and selected to be recipient of our first, our first, very first junior scholar in the media. To my colleague Pat Matia with the Atlanta Tribune, my other colleague Jennifer Parker with Crossroads. On behalf of the National Newspaper Publishers Association, I'd like to express what we are about since March the 16th, 1827, 75 years ago. John B. Rushman and Samuel E. Condish began Freedom Journal. Since that time, there have been many newspapers throughout America that have championed the cause of minorities, especially so-called Negroes, African American today, and the like. Throughout 2015, the National Newspaper Publishers Association will be celebrating its 50th anniversary along with commemorating the 75th anniversary of the National Newspaper Publishers Association. As an officer of the National Newspaper Publishers Association, I'd like to welcome everyone present and hopefully this will be the springboard for doing better and greater things as the black press continues to champion the cause of African American throughout the United States. Thank you all for coming and enjoy the festivities today. Congratulations. And to you, my brother. Thank you. Black Press Week Willie wishes being celebrated this year in Washington, D.C., March 25th to 27th. It's the 75th anniversary, as you're heard. The week of festivities and advocacy is an opportunity to recognize our industry's great publishers, underscore the importance of black newspapers telling the stories of telling our stories and advocating for policies that will ensure the survival of, of the black press. The annual observances are important every year, but they're especially important this year because it's our 75th anniversary, 75 years. That's nothing to sneeze about. And during the observances, NNPA's 200 um, black newspapers will enshrine black publishers who have gone on before us in its gallery of great publishers that is housed in the NNPA's Black Press Archives at Howard University. With the theme this year of preserving the legacy for future generations like you, black, and the Black Press we Torch Awards are spot, spotlighting the accomplishments of, and voices of the younger generation. 
which is why we are gathered here today to recognize you, Willie, as our first ever junior newsmaker of the year. And that's uh, for your hair raising and for your faith that I'm sure your grandmother and your family taught you. And that is why you were able to sing that song and eventually get free from um, your abductors. And we're so very proud of you and so glad that you're here today. So congratulations. And to you too, Grandma, for raising an upstanding young man. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about the Torch Awards. They're the most prestigious honors presented by the National Newspaper Publishers Association Foundation, rather, NNPA. The torch is the symbol of the black press providing the light to freedom. The award is given to people of national prominence, and that is you, who are high achievers, providing positive contributions to the advancement of our community, our city, our country, and our world. And also on behalf of the Land of Truth Game, we're going to give you a small token of our appreciation, along with one of our magazines for you. And today, this year, we are presenting the first ever Junior Newsmaker of the Year Award to a young man who uses faith, good thinking skills, and pure tenacity to rewrite what would have been a very likely tragic story. Last April, Willie, now a 10-year-old fifth grader, was kidnapped from his front yard in Atlanta. He sang every praise for three hours until his abductor was so irritated that he threw Willie out of the vehicle. Congratulations, and congratulations on your parents and your upbringing, which brought this to a great conclusion. Congratulations. 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 Now, the junior, we talked a little bit about the award, the Junior Newsmaker of the Year Award, which is the first time being presented for your heroes, of your, your heroism, your unyielding faith and tenacity. It is our public acknowledgement of your outstanding courage and good deeds which serve as a role model for all young people. In fact, your story was picked up by news outlets across the country and netted nearly 70,000 Google results. Now, since the family was unable to travel to Washington, D.C., that's why we're doing the presentation here with the Atlanta Publishers. And we're going to videotape this, and it's going to be shown in D.C. at the Torch Awards dinner next week. So now, time to reveal the award that we would like to present. And, uh, oh, that's my this um, Oscar Verse Award is a historic, you being in the, in the uh, African American Black History books and newspaper from now on. So there you are, congratulations. <laughs> and if you would like it, you can. Today I feel great because Jesus helped me through the adoption, and I thank God for that because. He is my hero, and he's my only hero. And Jesus, I love you, and I wish you all love me. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you.